Hey YouTube, this is Logan with Hideaway Homestead coming back to you again with another Pollard update here on Pollard management. And here we have my taller of the two willow trees. And as you can see, this place here where I cut the last time is already putting on new growth. And it's been, let's see here, two weeks since I last cut the cut the tree so um two weeks seems like a, a pretty good space of time to allow the tree to recover some since i'm only taking off of one limb so what i'm going to do today is i'm going to come over here and i'm going to cut back this one and we're going to see how much material i get for the rabbits to eat and how many new trees i can plant all right, so now we have our our cut back here. And as you can see, I left a little bit of the stubs of those limbs just because there's a lot of dormant buds here on these stems and I want them to sprout out and do just like this one. So that was a pretty good bit of food. That gave me a bucket full and I took most of the uh, larger cuttings like these that I could have cut in to make trees but I'm giving those to the rabbits because they're still pretty soft and green and they really like to chew on the stems too so I'm gonna make sure that I give them some of that but I took some of the larger stems here and maybe some cuttings to put in some wicking beds and root this summer so these here I got one, two, three, four, five, six. Six uh, really good cuttings. And I may even cut these in half or may even cut them into three inch little uh, pieces to make into uh, you know 12 trees instead of six because <clears throat> the pots that I have are not real deep. I think there may be four inches or so. So what I'll probably do is try to um, cut them and make them a, a little bit shorter. And then after I've got them put in the wicking bed and they get a good root system going, I can put them in the ground somewhere and water them and get them established to where they'll uh, grow and not and not die on me. Because that's the thing with, with green, um, green cuttings or your softwood cuttings is that you can't let them dry out so a lot of softwood cuttings would be more like these right here and you would put them in a sand bed or in some kind of medium and you would put them on a mist system which is a lot of work to set up and it's also from what i hear very rewarding but since this is willow and it's so easy to root anyway i'm just going to stick with these and put them in a wicking bed and as long as they stay moist they'll send out roots and i can uh you know just keep them keep them on that until they've got some good roots established in their pots and then transfer them into an area where i can keep them watered well and where they're not going to be just beat to death by the sun and they should do pretty good. Uh, I'll take you right now and show you a, a cutting that I took from, I think it was beginning of this year, or it might've been last year, and putting, uh, no, yeah, it would've been beginning of this year off of this tree over here. I took one of these cuttings and put it in a pot, and I'll show y'all how that one's doing. As you can see, I've got this cutting here, and it's a very, thick cutting in this pot and I've got it sitting over my little uh, pond if you want to call it that it's an IBC tote that I cut the top off of and I've got some goldfish and lily pads in here but I can take this and just whenever it needs water I'll dip it in here and let the water soak in water it like that so that's what I'm hoping to do after I get the the other cuttings that I've got weaned off of being in a, a wicking bed. I hope to be able to just set them somewhere like here where it's in the shade, dip them here and there, and then eventually get them weaned off to where I can go set them in the ground and uh, keep them watered that way. But 
<clears throat> that's pretty much all I've got as far as willow updates today and pollarding updates and management. So if you like this video, leave a like. If you like this kind of stuff, uh, subscribe to the channel. I put out a video every day and uh, thanks for watching.